Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, This Bob. is a typical day for Brad. This is usually what he does most of the day, he takes his <laughs> naps. Uh, what we're doing here is we're actually gonna talk about proper positioning for a, a person after they've had a stroke and when they're in bed. And the, we're first gonna start off with if they're sleeping on basically the non-involved side. Brad had a stroke. We're going to uh, simulate that he had a stroke on the left side, affecting the left side. So that's what this red band is here for on the leg and the arm. Um, so what you're going to want to do, this is just a, uh, uh, if you, the person wants to lay on their good side or on their non-involved side, you're going to have a pillow under the head. You're going to have one pillow behind in their back here, kind of a lot of times bunched up to try to help hold them from rolling over backwards like this, especially if they have some trouble with their balance. Um, you're going to have a pillow underneath their arm, and what we like to do quite often is maybe even have it like this. We're out of, we're running out of bed here. If there was a bed, that, you know, uh, that went, uh, you know, further on here, I'd like to have the arm as straight as possible because mm -hmm. the arm is going to want to tend to curl up, and we want to get out of that position. Now I like to see palm down like that. So you got the, the pillow under there, and then you're going to have a pillow under the leg between the knees and you're going to have this leg forward a little bit and slightly bent because what legs in strokes tend to like to do they, they like to come back and straight and they, the hip tends to retract on them so we're, we're getting a little bend at the hip a little bend at the knee and this is the position that you want to be in if you're going to sleep on your non-involved side we're going to cut away and we're going to show you how, how it's you know, how you're going to have a person sleep on the involved side all right, we're back. Now, in this case, you have a patient or a person that really wants to sleep on their involved side, the side that had the stroke. And a lot of times we prefer, Brad and I were just talking, that you don't sleep on that side. It'd be better if you slept on the other side. But if you're a person that's been sleeping that way for years and would like to try, you know, give yourself a little variance and, and maybe re uh, reduce some of the pressures on the body, uh, even them out, you go ahead and sleep on this side. The big thing is that I, I don't want you sleeping on the point of the shoulder. I don't want you way over on the point like that. We're going to have you kind of halfway off the shoulder, kind of partly onto the back, partly onto the side. Sure. And what you're going to do is you, you can use a pillow to help do that. You can use a pillow behind him again to help, and a pillow under the head. So you can see, again, he's not on the point of the shoulder. He's taking pain, uh, pressure right on the back of the shoulder and on the back. So then again, we're going to use a pillow between the legs. And I I'd like to have both legs bent a little bit is what I, I like to see. This one's forward a little more in uh, front of that one. And so this one's slightly bent and this one's slightly bent. And there you go. That's, that's the position. The next one we're going to show you is, is a person sleeping on their back. Shoes would be off, though. <laughs> uh, having someone lay on their back after they've had a stroke. This is the involved side. Again, we got the red stripe here and the red stripe on the pants. You can't see that, I guess, but um, we're going to put, now we're going to have one pillow under the head. We're going to have one pillow underneath the arm. Again, trying to keep the arm straight as possible, the elbow as straight as possible. Don't want it up like this all night long. So you're going to have palm down. You're going to have the elbow as straight as possible. And then I usually like to put a pillow under the leg too. Um, a, a lot of times if you put one under the, kind of under the calf and under the knee, you raise the heel up a little bit mm -hmm. so that you don't get pressure on the heel all night long and you get that uh, skin breakdown, Sure. If, especially if you're kind of prone to it. So you can you know, have variations with that, but uh, to find out whatever is the most comfortable. But right. this is probably the most simple one and, and works out real well, and it's a, another option for you to roll and, onto. And I think you know the other leg may need a pillow under there, but usually the person's going to move that leg around and it may not need it, so. Yep, you can, you know, there's some personal preferences to these. Sure. This is a good starting point, mm -hmm. so. All right, good luck, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to us. You better believe it. Take care.